Hey everyone, Megan O'Levy here in Lower Manhattan. As you see behind me, that is the Freedom Tower. And today we are visiting Ladder 10 with Donald Cowboy Cerrone and Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Oh man, you know, I grew up at a fire station. My dad's uh, captain of the fire department, car ring, so it's cool to go down here and talk to guys that were right in it all, right? And just pay a little tribute. I work at Ladder 10. I've uh, been here eight years. Uh, we're right across the street from the World Trade Center. Overall, we lost 343 guys in the fire department itself. These are our guys that were from this firehouse. Damn. Pretty much every firehouse has one of these in their firehouse. We had guys in, still in this building, giving, operating, giving messages, and still talking, trying to get out and keep yeah. people out still even after all this. You, you can feel like the vibe, you know, from all the guys, and it's just uh, emotionally, yeah, I mean, the badass is one thing, but being tough on the inside, it's, that's hard too, you know? I mean, so I feel for all these guys, you see the memorial and the plaques, and these guys feel these are their brothers, you know? It's just like they live and, and hang, and they're their family members too, so like I said, it's, it's crazy, man, it's crazy. I like this place very much. It's something big. It's an amazing experience for me. It's the best job ever, so. I love my job too. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin in Poland, uh, he was fireman. Uh, now uh, he's dead, and uh, this is something special for me. <laughs> Although we're going to grab a tank and put it on the back real quick. <laughs> Look, I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak in this? Is there a, like a transmitter? Uh, we, uh, when we have to make a transmission, we put it right up to there. And then uh, we're supposed to speak calmly, but uh, never really sounds like that. I feel very proud. I've been in New York my whole life. I've grown up here. I've seen all the changes that uh, have happened and, and the rebuilding that we had to, to go through. Um, and we came back stronger than ever. And uh, just to see everybody wanting to come here and, and participate um, in the life of, uh, of a New Yorker, it makes me feel proud. Some of the biggest and strongest guys actually uh, have uh, trained in, in martial, uh, mixed martial arts um, and they, they pass that along in our training regiment and I think it makes us better firefighters so uh, I'm glad that the UFC is coming to New York. This is important to me to come down and see these guys you know pay tribute to them I mean they didn't have to run in that you know they, they, they did what they did to because because they wanted to you know not because they had to you know so these guys like I said they're, they're f heroes not me these guys are heroes so uh, it's cool like I said my father and a lot of my friends are firemen to come down and say hey yeah, they better, they better be tuning in and watch a cowboy now. This is very cool. <laughs> they are really, uh, they are heroes and they inspire me. I was very happy, I cried. <laughs> and my dreams come true. Yeah. This was an incredibly inspiring visit today. But the very cool thing about visiting today is now Donald Cerrone and Karolina Kovalkiewicz met some of the heroes that they will be entertaining in Madison Square Garden on November 12th.